Hey guys, this is my 2007 BMW 525i. It's an E60. And if you guys are having a problem with the driver window switches not working at all, uh, I think I have uh, something you can check. And I finally figured out what it is. And it has nothing to do with the window switch block. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so the specific problem I'm having is if the car is on, none of the window switches will work even the rear sunshade button the mirrors nothing on this block will work and also i just have the door panel off right now because i was checking all the wiring and stuff but interestingly all of the other windows work just fine and interestingly uh the driver window actually does work if i command it up and down with a scan tool it's just this uh window switch block is completely dead and most people would probably think it's the window switch block itself and this problem actually happened once before uh where this thing wouldn't work and then all of a sudden it worked the next day uh, but now it's just completely dead. But one thing I did notice along with that problem, and it's doing the same thing now, is these little uh, LED welcome lights under the mirror do not work. And usually when you unlock the vehicle, uh, they will turn on. However, now I'm not getting anything. I also did check my power and ground. The power is the red and blue wire. The ground is the brown one. And I believe this white and blue wire is the communication wire. And I'm pretty sure this gray and red one is the one that makes everything light up. Also, I noticed when you, you know, turn the lights on, um, this does still light up. So since those LED lights in the mirrors are not working, the next thing I checked is just to unplug this mirror. It just goes up through there. We'll go ahead and turn the car back on. And check that out. It works. everything works on it but if we plug the mirror back in it stops working isn't that odd huh so with the mirror plugged in I started to take apart the mirror assembly and I start it with the glass and you can just pop the glass off with like one of these trim tools you kind of just uh, stick it in there and kind of lightly just pry a little bit just be careful not to break the glass and then i uh disconnected the mirror because this has auto darkening and heated mirrors and you just use like a little flathead screwdriver to kind of lift that tab up and it just pulls off and we'll just try it again here and look at that it works again so this glass is actually our problem. There's probably some kind of short which is causing a communication problem because I think I looked at the wiring diagram and the auto darkening part has something to do with the window switch communication. But it's definitely not what you would expect. So I did go to the junkyard and I found a mirror. However, it was off of 2006 and in 2007 they changed it to this kind of ribbon design. The old version had like, uh, you know, two little connectors for the heating and then a separate connector similar to this for the uh, auto darkening but i'm not gonna pay you know like 60 70 80 bucks uh online i'm gonna wait until one comes in at the junkyard that i can swap out but for now i'd rather have my windows work than the mirror auto darkening and heating so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and just pop that off and i'm just gonna cut this ribbon cable right there and it's hard to do with one hand, but I'm gonna cut it off kind of close to the connector. Okay, I got the connector clipped back on there and I'm just gonna take some hot glue and put it over those ribbon cables that were cut. And this should just kind of keep it from shorting out or corroding and shorting later down the road. And then I'll just plug it back in. And the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna get a new mirror for this someday and I just want to prevent all those little pins from getting corroded um, so I might as well just plug it back in with that with the ribbon cable cut and then line it up and it just snaps into place like that and I get the door panel all back on looking pretty and as you can see the windows work the mirror still works you just don't have the auto darkening and the heating but it's not a big deal until one shows up at the junkyard 
and I can pay $5.99 for it. Anyways guys, I hope you found this video useful. And before you uh, start replacing the switch cluster, definitely give that a try and disconnect the mirror. And if that one doesn't work on the driver's side, definitely check the passenger side as well. And it also could be something else in the mirror, like one of those little LED modules. Um, because that seemed to be related as well. But anyways, guys, I will catch you next time. Peace out.